Hey you all, welcome to Pearls of Eden. My name is Marilyn Acosta. Thank you for watching and clicking that subscribe button. If you have not done so, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you don't ever miss any of the new con content that's coming out. All right, so the topic of conversation in current news is Amber Rose. There are a lot of people who are upset with her and they're calling her everything but a child of God. You know, I think it's, we have to be so careful. We can be so judgmental in our self-righteousness where we look down on people and they're trying to change their lives. They're shifting, they're making progress. And just like Satan, he seeks to drag you down like crabs in a barrel when you seek to go up higher, right? She said that, you know, I'm not the same Amber Rose I was five or six years ago when I did the slut walk. You know, I was in a different space and place, but this woman is definitely changing and she shifted her perspective and she tells the media, I'm not who I once was, but you know, like Satan does, he keeps record of your past. And as soon as you try to get ahead, he wants to throw at you everything even the kitchen sink, right? <laughs> but I'm proud of her. She has made so many great changes in her life. And like many of us, she's a work in progress. Never forget that Rahab, God called her righteous. She was a prostitute, but in his eyes, she was righteous because she was willing to give those two spies a place to hide, okay? Help them to escape. You all have to be so careful that you don't get these Pharisee religious attitudes and you pick up your stone and you condemn, you can, you can condemn what God loves and not even know it and find yourself in opposition with God. Who wants to find themselves at odds with God? So we just have to be careful. Remember grace, remember mercy. None of us, you know, just arrived all by, our, by ourselves. But as Ephesians 2 says, it is by his grace that we are saved. And we have to continue to pray and lift up our brothers and sisters of the world. Because, you know, when God opens their heart of understanding, only till then can they be able to see and come out of darkness like we were once in. And so it's not for us to look our nose down at people when they don't think the way we think, when they don't understand the way we understand. It's really just an opportunity um, to pray for them. So with all that said, I, I'm really proud of Amber Rose and she did a fantastic job at the RNC and she just showed her, her humanity. And I love that. I love a humble spirit. I love people who just keep it real and they don't come with all of these facades. I can appreciate that. I can I can recognize transparency. I can recognize authenticity and she's got it. Let's take a look at her speech. Hello, my name is Amber Rose. I'm a model and entrepreneur, thank you. But most importantly, I'm a mother. My whole world revolves around providing for my children, keeping them safe, and giving them an opportunity for a better life. That's something that unites all American parents. Whether we're Republicans, Democrats, conservatives, or liberals, we all want a better country for our children. But I'm here tonight to tell you, no matter your political background, that the best chance we have to give our babies a better life is to elect Donald Trump president of the United States. So that was just a little taste of her RNC speech. She went on to really give an into a, a detailed look at Donald Trump's personality as she has gotten to know him and his family and also what brought her to even decide that he would be the best choice um, for this nation. I really enjoyed hearing her speech, her story. She's a very relatable person down to earth and I can appreciate that. But yeah, um, the RNC will have so many other people come and testify to the character and who Donald Trump is. And listen, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments, but as always, and you all do such a great job. You all are always so respectful and sharing your thoughts and opinions. 
And I do notice that. And I take great appreciation because, you know, listen, we're not going to agree on everything, but we can definitely have respectful conversations because we're all adults, right? We all love the Lord. It's just that maybe we have a different thought about this person or a different perspective. And guess what? That's okay. That's what makes the world go round. We all don't have to have group think where everybody has to think alike like and nobody thinks outside the box and nobody questions anything or anyone uh, because you know they're afraid they're going to get their head chopped off right you know those type i'm not that type you all i love to have wonderful conversations right but respectful conversations is always key okay i love you to life thank you for watching thank you for being a part of this channel i love you all we are growing guys and um, i'm so grateful for that i'm so grateful because it gives us the opportunity to spread the gospel the teachings of yashua hamashiach and to spread his love right so that we all grow from grace to grace and glory to glory because we all need love right we all need a savior we all have our weaknesses we're all human but we can come together and we can shine the light of christ and the love of christ and be gracious to one another you know we're not gonna all agree on everything and that's okay all right guys i love you to life bye to the next time